can LLMs understand anything? Quite recently, I've been to a philosophy literature festival in Wales, and there was a group of philosophers on stage who argued that LLMs cannot understand anything. But the day previously, I heard them talking about understanding, and they also agreed that they didn't know what understanding is and couldn't reach a joint understanding of understanding. So my impression was that AI is our only hope to understand understanding. <laughs> Because how can you say that you understand anything when you don't even know what understanding is? Right? So computer scientists have a language that is so formal that you can formalize an, a model of understanding. And philosophers are often using correspondence theories that this, they say that uh, understanding means that your model is referring to facts in the real world and or your propositions are referring to facts in the real world. And there's a the problem. What is the real world in this context? Is it quantum mechanics? Uh, is it um, interpretation of uh, social relationships that we have and so on, what is actually real in this context, right? It's quite tricky as a notion. And uh, last century, the um, computer scientists had long discussions about this and Loeb's theorem, for instance, um, is related to Gödel's uh, proof that uh, says that a system cannot talk about anything outside of the system. So correspondence is uh, theories that assumes that facts outside of the system don't really work because you have to create the facts inside of your system. And so when we look from this perspective of the, of the way in which our own understanding works, when we understand something, it means we have a unified model of the entire universe. Everyone has such a thing in their mind. And this model is designed in such a way by us that we can explain everything in the world by it. And when we understand something, we create a relationship between that domain or symbol or pattern to this unified world model, right? So understanding is intrinsic to the system in which you do the understanding, but our own mind contains this. Every mind contains a whole universe. And in, inside of this universe, there's the world model and an idea sphere. And when we understand something, we project into this world model for perceptual data and for the idea sphere, uh, into, uh, into the idea sphere for everything else. So this is something that is in principle open to AI models. And what matters is whether AI models capture the correct causal structure to drive behavior in the world, which is the same thing for us, right? And you could also argue that these philosophers, in some sense, they do understand understanding, but not such a way that they can talk about it. They have an operational understanding based on their understanding of understanding. They can produce the appropriate behavior, which means they can distinguish situations in which they understand something from those in which they don't, at least in many contexts. And this works good enough to get them through the world. And so in some sense, we can ask the same question. Is the model that we capture, for instance, in a large language model suitable to drive behavior in the world? And so when we find, for instance, that a large language model is able to write a sorting algorithm and to make proofs about the sorting algorithm and to translate it in different programming languages, it's absurd to say that it doesn't understand causality because this program is a causal structure that it reasoned about, right? So it does understand something. It might not understand the world in the same way as us because it's not coupled to it in real time, because it represents in very different ways. It doesn't have a self. It does not relate to itself, to all these things and so on. But all these things can, in principle, be overcome. <laughs>